evening, everybody. Glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore, and we're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to Vegas, where they do it bigger and better than any other city when it comes to the big time fights. We're at the Thomas and Mack Center for tonight's main event. And now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. The Assassin's making his way to the ring right now, and he's doing so with a very business-like approach to things. Johnson's not throwing any fuel onto the fire for his opponent. He's just making his way down to the ring in a way in which he's checking that time card, ready to punch in and get to work. The Assassin. His adversary, the Highway Wellington, the Jones Johnson. dressing room. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up. Yeah. Well, they've the been chance. waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. Hit it out, hit it out, hit it out. And he ties up on the inside. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Johnson's cut is really not a good sign. Great hook to the head that time. Committing upstairs now, he goes there again. Blocks that punch. What's the concern defensively when you're a speedy fighter, a fast fighter against a power puncher? Usually, Joe, you don't want to get caught stepping out because when you're a fast guy, you want to get off and you want to get the heck away from the guy that's powerful. Don't get caught backing out. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Right back to the work up top. Look at the accuracy with that hook upstairs. That is a strong uppercut there. Overhand right can be so effective. In and out. In Scores and up out. top with a left. Basic but beautiful jab right hand. Seconds to go in this round. Good job staying away from the danger there. You're in control of this. Just keep it up, right? Nice work. All right, listen. You need to create more punches, okay? Slip this punch and throw a straight right down the middle. Okay, listen. I want to see that straight right. Throw the jab and then straight down the middle. Here we go. Round two is underway. Hits him in the mug with the right. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. 
Johnson's being very patient here, but it's with a plan in mind. Yeah, it is with a plan in mind, and that's why he's such a successful fighter. He's trying to lure his opponent into a mistake. Away of that hook to the head. Oh, that had a hurt. Great work offensively landing that combination by the assassin. Halfway through round number two. Good right hand. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. He scored well after being hit himself. The Assassin's combination punching is working well here. Move! A well-placed gutsy uppercut after being tagged. Go! Go! Good job with another left hand. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. That's it! Throw a punch. Don't walk into him without throwing a punch. Just keep working and this is your fight. Don't get lazy out there, all right? Don't get late. Win in this fight. Keep those hands moving, all right? Keep the hands moving. And round number three is underway. One, two jabs up top. The Assassin's ability to just get to his opponent before his opponent gets to him. Showcase there, his hand speed is very good. Yeah, it is, Joe. You know, it speaks to one of those old sayings that... Oh, he is absolutely affected by that right hand. Never saw it coming. Worst kind of right hand you can catch. He should tie up here. And he engages in the clinch. Head movement, head movement. Left hand came after the jab. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Get out of the way. Johnson's left now getting into the mix. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. The Assassin's Keep putting his punches moving. together now. That's a nice combination. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Let's see some more head movement. Good fighting, snapping shot by Johnson. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Nice jab there by the assassin. Johnson's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Good step back counter punch there. And round three comes to an end. Deep breath. Water. Good? All right? Breathe for me. Good. Listen. You threw a wide punch out there and you caught. You need to cover up more, okay? You're leaving yourself open too much. Cover up.
start of round number four. Johnson sizzling up those punches thrown stats, but nothing else is working for him. He has not earned a single round on your scorecard. Well, I don't like the kind of punches he's throwing. He should go to the butcher shop, cut some fat off those punches. The assassin's jab continues to carry the day. He's wanted it, he's gotten it. Well-targeted two-punch combo by the assassin. The Assassin's opponent knows exactly what the game plan can be now. That counter punch landed with some success. Good job. It was sudden. It was fast. It was direct by the Assassin. He got hit, but he sent it right back. Look at that combination by the Assassin. Ninety seconds to go in round number four. Fires off the hook. Look at that. Keeping him honest with the double jab up top. A well-timed right hand by the assassin. An accurate left by Johnson. A well-targeted jab that time. He digs in with an uppercut after blocking that shot away. Very nice job landing that counter punch, getting away from one that was coming at him by Johnson. Last 10 seconds. Good combination to the head. The Assassin's defensive flaws in that last round were very, very costly. He's not doing a good enough job of simply protecting himself. No, I'm not sure that he knows how. Take your time out. Take your time. Keep the pressure up. Don't follow him. Cut the ring off, right? Cut up the power shot. When he moves in, That was good. five has arrived the assassins leaving himself wide open there you just can't do that well you can do it but you're gonna get paid you're gonna eat some leather you're gonna get punched in the mouth that's gonna happen so the head he goes with a left hand See the accuracy now with that double jab up top. Nice work by Johnson. He was looking for an opportunity. He got it with that counter punch. Yeah, he stepped to the side. You know, a lot of times we talk about using the jab to set up a shot. He used his legs. Stepped to the side, got that opportunity. The Assassin's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Halfway into round number five here. Nice work, the left hand to the head. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. The Assassin's at his best when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Johnson's fully committed to utilizing the jab, and I think it's working out well for him early on. Well, it is. It's kind of like, you know, sending static out there. You, you want to scramble somebody's radio signal. You know, that's what the jab does. It scrambles your radio signal, or at least in boxing terms, it throws the other guy's rhythm off. Round comes to an end. Joe and Teddy with you here ringside. Teddy, you know, you really got to admire how accurate he is. I mean, he makes the most of what he throws. Yeah, he makes it count. This is a guy who 
doesn't want to waste anything. Listen, I'm not going to stand here and, and watch you take those shots. You understand? here at the start of this round, which is just part of what has been a very evenly fought fight. One of those fights that's going to be very hard to score. Landing two jabs by the assassin. Fires right back at him. Johnson smashed by an uppercut. He's trying. Well, obviously, what his opponent has done here is the reason that cut is in the shape that it's in. So if you're him, just keep doing what you're doing? Yes and no, Joe. Of course, it's easy to say, yeah, keep doing what you're doing. But what if there's a little change? Your opponent's cut now. He's going to move his head, you figure, a little bit to survive in there. Now you... Look at that. Oh, he's got to beat the count of 10 here. Here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit, but I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counterpuncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by the assassin. Johnson's once again the target of a hook. Good shot to the head with that right hand. The assassin's not just loading up. He's landing combination punches like he did right there. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. And that's the end of round six. That was good. Johnson's cut man is going to earn his pay bad, for sure. That is a bad gash. And I'm wondering what he's using in there. You know, you can only use certain things, avatine, adrenaline, and thrombin. I'm wondering if he's using legal things right now because that's the kind of cut that tempts you to use crazy glue. Stay away from that power hand, okay? Keep circling away from that power hand. Need you to keep moving side to side, all right? Keep moving. Don't let him get that power shot, man. Now listen, if you keep moving. A new round underway here. The Assassin's hoping that he doesn't make a defensive flaw like he did in the last round. That cost him a knockdown. See, that's where another set of eyes come in. That's where you depend on your corner. They're calm enough. They can see something that you didn't see. As hopefully the corner has told him what he did wrong. Three punches land in succession by the Assassin. Now hugging on the inside. Fine work with the left hand. He landed well by the assassin. There he is zoning in, the old one-two. Carries that punch intended for the head. How about that angle by Johnson? That was good stuff. Yeah, that's how you break up pressure. Guys coming at you, you know, trains coming at you. You don't go back on the track because it's going to hit you. You go off the track on the side, exactly what he did. And that train went right past Good accuracy with that uppercut. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by the Assassin. Flush right hand to the head. Took a shot, now he gives a left. 
scored well up top. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Doubles up the jab to the head. A well-placed left hand up top. Good flush shot upstairs. There's the head shot, but he parries it away. Good combination on the one-two by the assassin. The assassin's on the receiving end of a hook. When you're losing this fight, you take some chances. You have to take a chance with this guy, right? If you're standing straight up, move that body. You need to move that body more. Nice run. That was good. We have this one. I think it's pretty clear to see. Johnson's got some momentum now. The start of round number eight. And Teddy, on your scorecard, he's now out in front. And he created his own momentum. He made a little change about what he was doing, and it's working for him. The Assassin's putting forth a game plan of being a volume puncher. But Teddy, he's not landing a lot of these punches. And what kind of effect can that have on this fight? Well, he can get frustrated a little bit. And hey, he might not win the fight. And he can have that kind of effect. Is that effective enough? Very accurate two-punch combo by the Assassin. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Nice work with the uppercut. Johnson's combination punching here is showing you what good boxing is all about. Three punches thrown, three punches landed. Takes one. Gives one. The right hand scores well. Johnson's left landing well. Not one, but two. Good work with the jab up top. I like the way he went up top that time with the hook. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. The Assassins landed a good, solid nice. combination. Nice. Johnson's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. The Assassin's gas tank may be heading towards empty here. Yeah, and I don't see any gas station in the nearby vicinity. And that's the end of round eight. Johnson's looking really good after that round. Teddy, I think it's a good fight. I think it's a close fight, but I believe it's a fight that he's winning. Yeah, it's the kind of fight, though, that you can't afford to let up at all, or do what you just said, think that you're winning. He can't really think that way. He's got to think that he's got to take one round at a time. The rest of the rounds, he's got to win each one of them. Come on, this is it. You've got to make it a fight now. Can't just move around. You gotta move your hands. Right? Let's go. Listen. Listen to me. You're not working. Back to live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. Really frustrating his opponent now. Johnson's so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't, and it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's gonna leave an opening. How about that left hand? In and out! In and out! 
A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. shot comes in and he crashes to the canvas once again he's gotten up before what about this time He was up on your scorecard throughout the evening. Johnson's now a winner by knockout. Listen, you want to win, you want to get to a title. You want to be successful. But you want to make money. And this is one way to ensure you're going to make money. Scoring knockouts. That does it from ringside. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us.